Uh, Bo Nix threw for 322 yards per game, but the real stat that jumps off the page, the best completion percentage in a single season in NCAA football history, and the man who holds that record joins us now on NFL Total Access Oregon quarterback Bo Nix. Bo, you, you told us last week you've got the draft party equidistant between your wife's family and your family. You're all set up. You make all these uh, plans but now you go into a process where it's other teams picking you. It's not the transfer portal. It's it's not signing day. Uh, how do you handle that as a quarterback, as a guy who likes to make plans to, to have none right now? Well, I'm excited because I can't make a bad decision. Uh, I feel like I'm uh, prepared to go wherever, uh, you know, a team wants me, and I'm excited to go make the most of it. Oh, as a guy with that all-time record, Bo, you, you, you didn't make a, a lot of bad decisions throughout this process. Your growth – are coming from a young quarterback to, to a guy playing and starting in more games. In history. How did you manage to protect the ball so well last year? Well, it just all goes back to preparation and uh, understanding what, you know, my offense is doing and then, uh, you know, ultimately going against the defense and, um, you know, it's just preparing, you know, throughout the week to where I understand and know where they are going to be so that I can be efficient. And, Bo, in this process, in the draft process, upside is a term I think you use so much – for some of the other guys who haven't been able to do the things that you've done on the field, what do you say to teams uh, when they ask you if you're done growing? Uh, how do you show them that you can still become a developing and, and learning quarterback? Well, that's easy because, you know, every year of college uh, was better and better. And so I've been able to prove that, and, you know, what better way to show that than actually on the field. So, um, you know, this all I can really do is just continue to improve each year. Um, every time I get to step on the field, be better than I was the last time. Um, but it's, it, it's exciting because I know there's a lot um, that I can still learn and grow from. The NFL is going to be a different league and a lot of, um, you know, new things that I'm going to have to learn and adapt to. But, uh, you know, based off my prior experiences, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to do that because I've been able to overcome and, and you know, improve each year. And a part of those prior experiences in that learning process is growing up with your father. Uh, and we got to see uh, dad win a state championship for Central Phoenix City last year. I'm sure he probably enjoyed the fact that he won it in Bryant-Denny Stadium. Uh, we've seen the picture of you guys uh, celebrating there. Uh, what did you learn in terms of relating with teammates and coaches through watching your father go through his coaching career? Uh, pretty much everything. Um, you know, I've been able to watch him you know, coach from afar uh, for so long. And then I got to play for him uh, just to see how he, uh, you know, related to the players to see how he mentored those guys. And it was just inspirational to me to where when I got on my own, when I got to college, I used some of those same uh, characteristics. And, and I feel like, you know, leadership is really important for, uh, for this, you know, time for, for college and for the league. I think you can have player um, um, leadership, you know, at high levels and uh, it's just exciting. Um, to, to go to a new spot, and can you continue to do that again? And, and now, though, you're going to be in a new spot because I look back uh, at things like the high school picture with Cam where you, you guys are working, you're, you're going to start your college career, to now you're in the position that he was in. What's that like, and what do you want to show to the next generation of quarterbacks? Hey, it's crazy, but I just want to show that, uh, you know, those role models that you grow up watching, that you grow up wanting to be like, um, you can eventually – um, you know, be like them and you can grow and, and pursue those goals and dreams. And, um, you know, I'm excited to, to be in this situation. I'm excited to have this opportunity. Um, it was a dream come true for me um, and one that I'm just really excited about. Uh, one thing that I'm always excited about trying to smell good, Bo, tell us of the work that you're doing with Old Spice. That's right. Yeah. Old Spice has come out with a new total body deodorant that lasts 24 uh, seven, keeps you fresh. Uh, from your pits to your toes, and it really works, you know, all over. And that's one thing that um, I think is really cool about the product. Um, as you can see, it's right behind me. But um, you know, I think in, in a locker room, you know, a lot of guys outside, you know, sweating and, and you know, smelling bad. I think you know, um, some guys. I, I think the uh, stat is 50% of guys, um, you know, they they feel like they smell bad. Um, but this is, um, you know, a product that's going to help them a lot. Yeah, just go ahead and pick your teammates up and make sure they smell good as well so they can go out there and be successful. That's right. Like you were uh, through your, your college career. Bo, good luck uh, coming up here. Can't wait to see uh, what you accomplish in the next, le next level. Thank you. I appreciate it.